All right, in this little example for the uh, code lock, it's the manual version, so you physically place down the tablets that you want to use by the doors and the buildings that you want. So pretty much how it works is we have our building here, and we gave it the name called 1. You can give it whatever name you want, but just remember that it's building 1. And we have our tablet placed by door number 10 and one by door number 9. So for the one for door number 10, what we're going to do is we're going to pass in this, which is referring to the tablet, 1, which is the building that the tablet is in, and 10, which is the door number right here. And then all you have to do is just execute this file, and it will work just as intended. So we have our door 10, and here's our door 9. Both are unlocked. So for door number 10, go ahead and you'll just set a code, set it 558, set code, lock it, doors locked. 558, enter, door is unlocked. Now if you want to change the code, you can type like 1234, but when you set it on a locked door, you have to make sure the door is unlocked, so you can't, you have to know the code to set it just like before. So 558, enter, unlock it, 1234, set it, new code's 1234. So to show example, 558, no longer works, 1234, the new code does work. Same thing goes for just all the doors. Now if you want to set this up to work on another building, as you can see this is one that we were just on and here's the one that we want to set it up in. So we're going to set it on just doors, uh, let's do 12 and 13. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy the tablet. I can find my way around. So we're going to place this one beside door number 13. And we're going to place this one beside door number 12. Whoops. So now we can get the door name, I mean the building name, so I've given this a building name of 2. So we just change this to the new building name. And since this is door 13, we change it to door 13. Same thing for this. Set it to 2, set the door number to 12. and we'll pass those into the script. So now this is, we're still on door number 10 here on building one, just for example. Gonna go ahead and set it, one, two, three, five, set code, lock it, door's locked. One, two, three, five, unlock it, it's unlocked. Because this is building one, now we head into building two. Go to door 13. Really wish all doors would open inward when you're beside them. So this is door 13, it's unlocked. We're gonna set it to 1145, lock it, doors locked, 1145, entered in, so now it's unlocked, same thing goes if you want to change the code, make sure the door is unlocked, so if it's locked again, 880, doesn't work, 1245, enter, I completely forgot what I put the code as, but Anyway, that's just, that's just how it works. So one, two, three, six. Lock it. Nine, nine. Can't set it. One, two, three, six. Unlock it. Nine, nine. Set it. Lock it. Nine, nine. The new code unlocks it. So it's as simple as that. And it'll work for literally any building you want that you can at least place down. So, yeah, that's just a little manual version.